Let's play a little reductionist game. We're all taught to believe that we have body and mind. In the physical sense, physiological sense. That our central nervous system is a kind of a command house of our mind. Just imagine a person who would have his hippocamp cut out. He would not form short-term memories, right? But what does it mean? If we reduce this body and mind and all the apparatus and senses even more, we've got this soul. Is the soul capable of being impressed by what the mind believes in, what the mind feels? It may, a hypothesis. What happens if we cut up the hippocamp and we cannot form shorter memories? Can the soul be impressed by it? Not anymore, because it lacks a physical component that interfaces it. Hello, kitten. So, what is more? If we reduce the body and mind and soul, and let's say that the soul is destroyed, what remains? Is it the spirit, the pneuma or the diamond? What is a diamond? It is a rectification of all our movements, karma, the inclinations, in an alchemical rectification in the sublimation of our body, mind and soul. Therefore that constitutes the immortal spirit, the one that is united in variegated stages with the anima mundi, the hecatic world soul. So that is the world soul that is densified through concrete operations, alchemical and so on, and it is variable in strength. So someone can have a mighty diamond, like the gods, or a little diamond, like a mortal who developed the god within, or a goddess within. Now the soul may be transmigratory, meaning that it can go through countless metempsychotical births and rebirths. It may fly around in groups as in the air. Mm -hmm. Or it can be destroyed, shattered, synthesized, formed, shaped, created, and so on, so on. I won't go into details because I already gave lectures on the souls, soul creation, soul modification, and so on. However, I would like to prove a point that by reductio, reductio ab nihilo, we do not arrive at reduc reductio ab absurdo. So, Bear in mind that in the best circumstances all the soul components, spirit and the body and mind are synchronized harmoniously. So for example if you cut somebody's uh, arm off, he may have phantom limb experiences because his brain is interpreted that there was something there. Is it only a neurological disorder? It's also that the part of the soul was cut off and it needs to be rearranged. Now we have a great capacity for readaptation, both neurologically speaking. For example, all basis of psychotherapy is the neuroplasticity of our brain, but also to fix damage within of our body image, of our soul image, of our affects, and so on, so on. So much spoken. Whether you believe in a soul or not, that does not matter. But if you want to believe that you are a um, uh, cyborg made of flesh, thoughts, and the nervous system that controls it all, and the senses that you have, you may be wrong. Because there is always something more to it, something hidden, something occulted, and the things unveiled are merely a small figment of the very occulted things that you cannot that you cannot know for sure. And cats do have second sight. Not only that, they have souls. <laughs>